Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Bash B7 with 1,447 rating versus Galatea Duelist Team with 829 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video. Also, before we hop in, make sure to go ahead and check out Sleeve Chief for their new sleeves. You can also use code DBG5 for 5% off. You know, these were the Fortnite skins, but now they're available on sleeves and stuff, so make sure to go ahead and check them out. Link down below at the top of the description. And then hopping right in, we're gonna see Bash B7 win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and they'll go first, 43 versus 40. Opening hands, we got Talents, Rakia, Fenrir, Dark Contract, Aruha. They have Ash, Imperm, Oliver, Eclipse, and Ash. So special Fenrir, and then activate Fenrir effect, go search for Fenrir, and then set Rakia, Aruha, pop, special summon out, and then Rakia effect, chain Ash, talents to look at hand, and then they admit defeat. And we can talents look at hand there, because we still have contracts, so that's a Fiend Extender, so that's a blank Fiend in the Yama, and then you could go like... Yama, Sarama, Sarama, Aruha, Aruha, bring out, Shayama, Shayama, you know what I mean? You, you can get you can get stuff going there for sure. And then on to the next game. We're gonna see that deck go first. We got Thrust, Shavara, Fenrir, Contract, Thrust, they have Renaud, Ash, Heritage, Renaud, and Nib. Um, okay, well at least this deck is a no hand trap deck. But Infernoble I don't I don't like they don't even set up an FTK N board. Their end board's just, like, fairly good. They're gonna grab OGR, summon OGR, effect. This deck is, like, um, it's, like, a little bit better than Manadium going second. But going first, it's, like, way worse. OGR, dump gear free, then summon Renaud. Renaud effect, add back, grab back gear freed, and then link those off into... Oh, never mind. Okay, we can synchro. Yeah, bring out Almis, Almis, Durendal, Durendal effect. Yeah, that's fine. Gear Freed, Banish, Summon. And then we're going to activate OGR effect to equip to Gear Freed, Durendal, go search Turpin. Yeah, this is this is obviously a lot better than just starting with the Assault. Because uh, now we have the Monster Negate set up before we try to go into the Assault. So now Summon Assault, Assault effect. And it's not normal for Unchained players to have hand traps a lot of them are just completely cutting them so you can kind of assume that they're not going to have any but summon effect bring back out turpin but it is nice to be able to just summon that to potentially play around them and then angelica grab museum turpin to equip angelica to banish dump magius okay summon out captain rollin Museum, museum, pay 12, go search. Also, I have something in my eye and it won't come out. Oh my goodness. We're going to go search out Joyous, then activate Joyous, effect, grab back Ricardito, uh, then Magius effect to equip, museum to special, use those bodies to go up in the Charles, and then effect to shuffle back and draw. Also, let me read over this card real quick. You shuffle... Uh, that are banished or in your graveyard. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody commented and said that you weren't able to use this on extra deck monsters. Um, is it because it says, like, you can shuffle in the deck three others and it puts it back for cost? You can shuffle into the deck. Maybe that's why you can't target extra deck monsters? I guess I just gotta look it up. But, okay, yeah, I'll read into that, and I'll know by the next Infernoble video. And then draw on the Imperm, Captain Roland to equip, and then just go up into the Great Effect. Equip, set Imperm, bring out Angelica, and then Effect, equip, equip, and then Effect to pop the Renaud, pass, they draw Tour Guide, and then Special Out Fenrir. So they have Monster Negate, pop, Spell Trap Negate, Imperm, Ash, and Nib. So it's like, their non-engine is honestly like, you know, very good. Very good. So, Imperm the Fenrir, activate Dark Contract, Dark Contract Effect, go search out Vice King, and then activate Vice King. Vice King Effect to summon by popping, and then they're going to activate Captain Rolling Effect to equip, effect, pop the Vice King, 
and then activate thrust, chain ash blossom, set thrust, shavara, try to pop the thrust, uh, yeah, we were just trying to bait the negate. Now we're going to go summon tour guide. I mean, we didn't use the effect. Yeah, I was going to say, we didn't use the effect there because we automatically lose if we do. So we're going to go Yama 1, Shavara 2. Uh, the opponent lets that go through, but they could have stopped that, right? Because if they stop us from setting one, then our hand effect doesn't matter. But I guess they could just stop the hand effect. Um, maybe we try to Fenrir bait it now, but a Ruha try to pop, they let that go through. But this card says, if this card on the field is destroyed by card effect or battle, but pop escape and then escape graveyard effect, chain to negate that, and then we just admit defeat. Yeah, it's like we can go up in the anguish, an anguish effect, they could negate it, we can add back and Yama summon. But that doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, but on to game number three now. We're going to see Unchain go first. We got Tour Guide, Anti Spell, Shavara, Prosperity, Vice King. Honestly, just the first three cards are extremely strong. Then they have Nib, Imperm, uh, Renaud, Cosmic, and Joyous. So I wonder if they're going to try to Imperm this Tour Guide here. Nope. Okay, so bring out Phoenix Rhino Warrior. And then go up into Yama. Yama 1, Phoenix Rhino Warrior 2. That also goes through, so they're going to hold the Imperm. Dump Shavara, and then add a Ruha, and then Shavara to set Chamber over the Escape. And then a Ruha a Pop Chamber special. Chamber effect goes Summon, that's going to bring out the Shyama there. Because uh, you can bring out Sarama, but that plays in the Nib really hard very very hard so we're gonna bring out shyama shyama effect papa ruha a ruha effect now we bring out sarama our opponent doesn't want to try to drop nib or anything there they're fine with us going to that spot make solar rage sarama effect try to set chamber and pop the link and you may be wondering why are we doing this this doesn't make sense well actually i guess going for the chamber does make sense if this is exactly what we're trying to go for because then we're going to get Solar Rage, uh, add back Blink. Uh, then we can go like Shyama, Pop Sarama, Sarama Summon Shavara. And then we have Rank 6 plus Chamber in the Solar Rage. And we play around Nib. But in response to Sarama, they're going to Imperm to stop that. And then Shyama, Pop Sarama Summon, Sarama Effect. Bring out Shavara on that Summon. Activate Nib. Tribute to the field, pass over the token, and then uh, we still have Prosperity, so we're going to activate Prosperity, Banishing 6, and then look at the top 6, also playing with a Rise Heart, but we hit a Ruha, Fenrir, Prison, Prosperity, Escape, Tour Guide, and then grabbing the Abomination Prison, putting the rest of the cards back to the bottom of the deck. So we have Abomination, Prison, Shavara, but yeah, we're going to go set, special summon out Shavara, and then Yama and Prison effect. So hopefully we play Disaster, which we do, nice, and then summon out Shavara, uh, go up into the DDD, activate Disaster effect using itself plus Nib to go into Muckracker, okay. Um... I don't know how I feel about this, because, like, we're obviously just going to Muckracker bring back Solar Rage, right? And then that gives our Solar Rage protection, because otherwise it could get beat over because we don't have Yamas, and then Solar Rage could be forced earlier because of that. Where now, because we have Muckracker, it won't be because this has the protection effect. But then we're discarding our Vice King, and Vice King's not bad. Because we have to assume that they're probably going to out anti-spell if they're going to even have a chance to play. And that means if DDD goes, we get contract, which means contract versus Vice King. So we do lose a tiny bit of follow-up, but I guess it does make the end board better. So we're going to bring out this card, set anti-spell. Also sets it in a, like a scale column. I guess, you know, really probably won't matter, but probably should do it here in case of, I guess, Imperm gets done here. But I guess as long as this stays up, we can't 
scale anyways, but Cosmic, the anti-spell, and then go to main phase, normal OGR effect, OGR plus Renaud, always pretty good, dump Turpin, special Renaud, Renaud effect, add back Turpin from the grave to the hand, and then we're going to use Renaud, OGR, make Angelica, Angelica, search museum, activate museum, museum, Pay 12, go search. Also, DDD like, can't negate the second effect in Museum because uh, DDD doesn't negate effects. Um, just negates like the activations. Um, but now they're going to activate Durendal. And then Durendal effect, go grab out Ricardito. And then activate that. Banish to try to summon out the Turpin from the hand. Because uh, they do have the DDD that could negate that. Because that does banish to summon... We know that they have Joyous in hand, which, what does this do? Okay, so they're going to go, it can go OG or effect to equip Museum to summon. They have that. They could equip Joyous. Joyous can summon from hand anyways, so they're going to DDD negate that. OG or effect to equip. And then that's fine. Uh, yeah, equip that. Not using the Angelica to tag out like you typically do. Now, we're going to go, you know, equip OGR, museum effect the special, the chain solar rage. Um, so that way they won't get to bring out OGR. They're going to chain Angelica. Uh, and now they're going to chain DDD, which will destroy that. Wait, this... This won't go to Grave, because if you read the DDD, it negates the activation, and if you do destroy that card, so, you know, this obviously doesn't have anything to link with. Uh, the opponent's going to tell them here in a second, oh, no, they realize that they've lost anyways, because they don't have anything. They have, like, a Turpin in hand that doesn't do anything with a Joyous. I guess, like, maybe there was a different way to do it. Like, maybe we hold Ricardio in hand, right, and we don't just throw that out yet. And then maybe we do the OGR thing first with Museum, try to bring out, we go up into that. And then our opponent, uh, I guess they could just DDD stop it anyways. It's kind of tough. It is kind of tough. Yeah, it's like, it's crazy how like Imperm Nib so like isn't good enough sometimes but the, to be fair to be fair they also had to like prosperity into like one of the spells or traps there um to be able to play through that like really well at that point uh but tour guide is just so good like tour guide is it beats nib um pretty much by itself not completely um it's like even like nib imperm cosmic for the anti-spell and then renaud ogier not enough wild um, just proves how strong Unchained is. Also, this deck is really good when it gets to set up, like, its trap cards. Oh my gosh, like, like trap cards are just so nice. Like, when you actually get to, like, build a board with Engine, and it gets to set traps, it's like, it, it kind of feels like tier in that spot. It's like, you have so many interruptions in different spots. Sometimes you got Yama in the graveyard ready to bring out, like, an Abominable at any point, and it's like, that's scary too, but... Seeing how long the match was. It was only 24 minutes long. We don't see any GGs there. Uh, yeah. Unfortunate. I mean, Infernoble lost. A match that they lost the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. You know, fairly standard. It did seem like this person had a lot of going second cards in their list compared to a normal Infernoble deck. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.